By the 1960s, New York City had a large population of people who had grown up in Puerto Rico. At the time, New York state law required all voters to pass a literacy test in English before they cast a ballot. New York officials argued that this law was meant to encourage immigrants to learn English and intelligently exercise the franchise. But there was evidence that the law was passed out of prejudice in an effort to disenfranchise non-English speakers. Even though Puerto Rican migrants were entitled to vote because their primary education had been in Spanish, they couldn't pass the literacy tests. Congress passed the Voting Rights Act, or VRA, in 1965. Section 4E of the VRA specifically provided that people who had successfully completed the sixth grade at an accredited school in Puerto Rico could not be turned away from the polls due to the inability to read or write English. Morgan and other registered voters in New York City sued in federal district court Attorney General Nicholas Katzenbach, the New York Board of Elections, and others. The plaintiffs argued that Section 4E of the VRA was unconstitutional because it barred enforcement of New York's English literacy requirement and limited New York's right to set its own franchise requirements. A divided three-judge district court panel held that Section 4E was unconstitutional because Congress exceeded its authority by usurping rights reserved to the states under the Tenth Amendment. The court granted summary judgment and injunctive relief for the plaintiffs. Katzenbach appealed directly to the United States Supreme Court. 